This is Yuri's Lady Fernandez reporting for Miami Today. For this week's profile, we sat down with Ron Sheffield. He's the president of Esslinger Wooden Maxwell Realtors, one of the largest residential real estate firms here in South Florida. EWM has 10 offices in Miami-Dade and Broward and about 650 real estate agents. EWM was acquired in 2003 by Home Services of America, an affiliate of Berkshire Hathaway. Mr. Sheffield discussed with us the state of the real estate market, the strong presses of international buyers right now, and he also discussed where he sees the residential real estate market turning around completely here in South Florida and when we might see home prices inching up. Here are some of these things that Mr. Sheffield discussed with us from his home in Pinecrest. And yes, probably 100% of our buyers today are utilizing the internet. Uh, you know, at the, at the end of the day, though, the great thing about a house is that you can't UPS it to someone. You know, you need somebody to take you there to, to really show it to you and to, and to point out uh, all the, the pieces that are involved in buying real estate. But we have uh, continued to, um, to refine our technology. Of course, internally, we have many, many applications that our associates are able to use to really define the value and to define the marketing of our homes. But we, uh, our latest um, uh, feature is a texting feature where you can simply text five digits, 59559, to EWM. And if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, wherever you are in either Dade or Broward County, it will show you on your phone the closest listings to where you're standing. So all these new sales that we're making are cash buyers. In our company right now, 52% of every sale that we're making is a cash purchase. In the over million dollar market, 67% uh, of every sale that we're making is a cash buyer. So it kind of shows the, you know, the, the significance of, of, uh, of the cash buyers in our market today and, and how they have a stronger uh, negotiating uh, stance than, than, than other buyers that don't have the, the luxury of being able to pay cash. So I think that uh, long term, you know, we'll find ourselves uh, again with, with lower inventories because we're just not building much today. So this boom of building that we went through in the early 2000s, you know, won't be repeated probably for another four or five years. And until that happens, uh, uh, you know, the available inventory will be absorbed and then the next people to, that want to own something will have to pay a little bit higher price because there will be more people bidding for it. But I think that uh, over these, uh, you know, what we said earlier, over these next two or three years, uh, you know, we're going to start to see values inching up, starting at the lower prices first, and then moving to the higher prices uh, as we clean through that excess inventory.